Joining me right now is the Florida Congresswoman herself, who exposed this at the border. Kat Kamak is here. She's a member of the Homeland Security and Agricultural Committees. Congresswoman, thanks very much for being here. Uh, I know Congress is set to take the issue up this week, but tell us what you saw and react to what you just heard from Buttigieg. Well, good morning, Maria. And, you know, yesterday I was on the border myself, and the facts on the ground are exactly how, how we have been stating them. You know, last week I received text messages and photos from Border Patrol agents showing a stockpile of baby formula, and there was complete outrage from the White House and CNN and other liberal outlets claiming that we were lying. So I decided to go down myself and film it. And lo and behold, not only was there stocked warehouses, but there were multiple stocked warehouses that have been not only filled with baby formula and diapers and wipes and clothing, but they have been doing this for months, and there's more in route. And this just points again to how out of touch this administration is, and they could stop this with a simple policy change. And to the Secretary of Transportation's remarks that they have been on top of this from day one, that is a lie. They canceled 43% of this uh, manufacturer's production with no plan to backfill that uh, market share that they make up. So how, how have they been on top of this? Because moms for months have been saying it was getting harder and harder to find formula. formula. This is just another example yeah. of the broken administration that doesn't know how to govern. So how did this happen, Congresswoman? I know that the FDA uh, investigated uh, one plant. Uh, I mean, ha had they known that there were issues uh, months ago, why wasn't more done to fix it? H how did we get here? You know, that's, that's the million-dollar question right now. See, back in fall of last year, there was a whistleblower who alerted the FDA to some bacteria issues within the Abbott facility in Lansing, Michigan. There was a thorough investigation, a voluntary recall by Abbott, and it was in March that the FDA themselves, they came out with a public statement saying that the bacteria found in the Lansing facility did not match the bacteria that tragically killed those two infants that when there was an autopsy uh, performed. So there was no connection between the two. So there was a voluntary recall. The Abbott facility has complied and done everything that they have been asked of of the FDA, but yet there's no word from the FDA on when this uh, facility can get back up and manufacture. Keep in mind, they manufacture 43% of the market share. And in the meantime, there's been no easing of regulations. There has been no uh, easing of the tariffs to import baby formula. It has been radio silence. But that's how this administration operates. They want us to flounder mm. because they have no solutions. And they continually point well. the blame at everyone else but themselves. You know, it's interesting because last week Jen Psaki actually suggested that it was all Abbott's fault. Abbott had to come out tweeting about it, saying the White House is misrepresenting it. This is not Abbott's yes. fault. We all know this. What you just uh, laid out was exactly right, that we see that it, in fact, did not come from, from Abbott. Uh, but I want to get your take on what else is going on at the border. You were just there. A federal judge is expected to rule on Title 42 within days. Two dozen GOP states have already filed a lawsuit to try to block uh, the administration from lifting uh, Title 42. Congressman, what are you expecting? Do you think that Title 42 goes away on, on May 23rd, which was the date that the administration said it would uh, overturn it? You know, Maria, and, and you are so passionate and you've been so spot on in covering the border crisis from day one. When I was with the agents yesterday walking through these processing facilities, they talked at, in depth about the sheer number of people that they would be dealing with, up to 18,000 a day. Keep in mind, we lose operational control of the border at 3,000 a day. And what we're seeing currently is already untenable. If we lose Title 42, that is the last tool in the toolbox for these Border Patrol agents. These are the same people who can't find formula for their own kids in a Target down the street. I know because I went to that Target yesterday. But this is the thing. We will absolutely see an invasion at our southwest border. There has already been a lowering of vetting standards. People are being put uh, through the processing process in a rapid manner in which they're not being properly vetted. The Democrats actually voted last week to accept arrest warrant paperwork as proof of ID for people to get into our country. There's uh, ankle bracelets being cut off. 
this is going to absolutely have dire consequences for Americans because what we are seeing are people on the international terrorist watch list coming across the border, narcotics pouring across the border. We will need to have some very yeah. tough, tough policies on the books, but this administration is weak, and we know that. Yeah. Well, we've, we've already heard actually stories from border agents that MS-13 actors yes. were actually apprehended at the border, so you're spot on. Yes. Congressman, thank you. Thanks for your leadership here. Kat Kamek joining us this morning on the border.